Hi, this is Maginoni, and it's that time again for the weekly pull list, and it is June, what, 13th? No, I'm sorry, June 15th, um, 2011. There was a lot of Fear Itself books out, and um, I did look through some of the um, flashpoints. Uh, Legion of Doom had a, a very crazy ending, which I won't spoil it, but it was pretty crazy. You might want to take a look at that. Um, anyways, let's go in with the, the poll. Uh, on the Marvel side, X-Men uh, Prelude to Schism. Uh, this is three of four. X-Men number 13. Now, I'm actually kind of, I am really uh, curious to read this. And I did some you know, skimming. And uh, Emma Frost is in this, and they're actually tying Emma Frost to the like way long time ago, uh, from the beginning of the X-Men. Uh, Uncanny 538, with the news of Uncanny being uh, uh, canceled, uh, I'm glad because this is going absolutely nowhere. It's a, it's a waste. Now, onto the Fear Itself books. There's uh, Avengers Academy, uh, number 15. Uh, Avengers, number 14. And I, I looked through this. I read, sorry, I read this. And this was a oh my gosh, God, fight. Uh, comic. Uh, I'll do a full review on these later. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, uh, number 505. Uh, Alpha Flight, number 1. And then on to IDW, there's uh, Snake Eyes, number 2. The Hulk, number 35. I only got this because this is the Planet Red Hulk, is a two parter. And I was just kind of curious to see how they were going to end it. Um, but um, this is going to be like, this is my throwaway title. Where I'm not going to care about it. Uh, then there's Gladstone School for uh, World Conquerors number two. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Crossed, uh, Psychopath number three. On DC, there's DC Online Legends number 10. And uh, The Walking Dead, uh, Volume 14 Trade. Um, now, I mean, this is just a brief little message on um, about the 52 launch. I'm going to do something special in regards to the 52 launch. I'm just not 100% sure, sure what I'm going to do. But um, one thing you might want to do if you are somebody who is interested in getting all 52 issues, you might want to go to your comic com or comic store and ask them if they're offering any incentives. You know, that's... You know, like I said, it's, a, it's like almost $150, $160 in books for one month. And um, I don't think it would hurt you guys to go up to the store and go, Hey, I want to pre-order these all of these titles. What type of discount can you give me um, for them? And hopefully your comic store will see the value at giving you a discount to pre, you know, to, to subscribe to all of these titles. So we'll see. I mean... I can't guarantee that um, all the stores will do that, um, but if that's something that you want, it wouldn't hurt to ask. The, w the worst they're going to say is, no, no, give me the money for the books you want to buy now. That's the worst they're going to say. Or maybe, okay, somebody might laugh at you. I know a guy who you would laugh, turn around, and he would have laughed at you. So, that okay, that would be the worst. Yeah, yeah, that, that would probably, yeah, that that was the worst. Um, actually, there was another guy I knew uh, who would just stare at you, and um, you wouldn't know what he's thinking, but you know that most likely he's a, that silence, awkward silence is, no, now get out of my store. That, okay, those two would probably be the worst case scenarios, but I think for the most part you're going to hear him no. Um, anyways, uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know, rate the video up or down, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to know if you guys are getting uh, Flashpoint, uh, how many of you got the tie-ins, or how many people were getting the um, Fear Itself ones, and um, I'll have more reviews up soon, so um, until next time.